हेलो एवरीवन इन दिस वीडियो विल डिस्कस अबाउट सर्चिंग ऑपरेशन ऑफ लीनियर एरे फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल व्हाट इज सर्चिंग सर्चिंग इज अ प्रोसेस ऑफ फेचिंग अ स्पेसिफिक एलिमेंट इन अ कलेक्शन ऑफ एलिमेंट्स द कलेक्शन कैन बी अ एरे और अ लिंक लिस्ट इफ यू फाइंड द एलिमेंट इन द लिस्ट देन द प्रोसेस इज कंसीडर सक्सेसफुल and it return the location of that element and in contrast if you do not find the element it seems the search unsuccessful there are two searching algorithms to find the location of a particular element linear search and binary search in this video we'll learn linear search What is linear search algorithm? Linear search is known as sequential search and it is the most basic search technique. In this type of search, you go through the entire list and try to fetch a match for a single element. If you find a match, then the address of matching target element is returned. On the other hand, if the element is not found, then it return a null value let's see the algorithm for linear search data is the name of the array and n is the total number of elements in this array n is equal to 6 and item is the element that we have to search from a list item is equal to 12 and loc is the location and this algorithm find the location loc of item in the array data loc is the location that we have to find first step is set k is equal to 1 and loc is equal to 0 second step is repeat step 3 and 4 while loc is, is equal to 0 and k is less than equal to n while LOC is equal to zero and k k is one one is less than equal to n n is six true and true result will be true if this condition is evaluated to be true then execute third and fourth step third step is if item item is twelve twelve is equal to data of k Data of k k is one. Data of k is eight. Twelve is equal to eight. Condition is evaluated to be false. Then after that, execute fourth step. K is equal to k plus one. Now k become one plus one two. Again, control transfer to second step. Repeat step three and four while LOC is equal to zero and k is less than equal to n. LOC is equal to zero and k k is two. Two is less than equal to six. Again, condition is evaluated to be true. Then execute third and fourth step. If item is equal to data of k, item is twelve and data of k is nine. Twelve is equal to nine. Condition is evaluated to be false. Then fourth step, k is equal to k plus one. K become three. Then control transfer back to the second step. Repeat step third and fourth while LOC is equal to zero and k is less than equal to n. LOC is equal to zero and k is three. Three is less than equal to six. Condition is evaluated to be true. Then execute third and fourth step. If item item is twelve, twelve is equal to data of k. Data of k is ten. Condition is evaluated to be false. Then execute fourth step. Set k is equal to k plus one. Now k become four. Again, control transfer back to second step. Repeat step third and four while LOC is equal to zero and k is less than equal to n. LOC is equal to zero and k is four. 
फोर इज लेस देन इक्वल टू सिक्स कंडीशन इज अवेल्यूएटेड टू बी ट्रू देन एक्सिक्यूट थर्ड एंड फोर्थ स्टेप इफ आइटम इज इक्वल टू डेटा ऑफ के आइटम इज ट्वेल्व एंड डेटा ऑफ के इज ऑल्सो ट्वेल्व Now in this case condition is evaluated to be true. Then set LOC is equal to K. Now LOC is equal to four. Then K is equal to K plus one. Now K become five. Repeat step three and four while LOC is equal to zero. Now in this case LOC is not zero. Condition become false. False and true. Result will be false. Then end of step two loop. Control transfer to the step five. If LOC is equal to zero, then write item is not in the array data. Now in this case LOC is four. Condition is evaluated to be false. Then else part is to be executed. Write LOC is the location of item. Location of item is four. Finally, the item twelve is found at location four. This is the complete algorithm for linear search. Next is the complexity of linear search. There are three different complexities faced while performing linear search algorithm. they are mentioned as best case worst case and average case best case complexity means the element being searched could be found in the first position in this case the search end with a single successful comparison so in the best case scenario the linear search algorithm perform big go of one operations then the worst case complexity that means the element being search may be at the last position of the array or not at all in the first case this search succeed in n comparison in the next case this search fails after n comparison so in the worst case scenario the linear search algorithm perform big go of n operations then average case complexity that means when an element to be searched is in the middle of the array the average case of linear search algorithm is also we go of n the next is application of linear search algorithm linear search algorithm can be applied to both single dimensional as well as multi dimensions array linear search is easy to implement and effective when a array contain only a few elements the linear search is also efficient when the search is performed to fetch a single search in a unordered list next is advantage and disadvantage of linear search the advantage of linear search algorithm is that linear search can be used irrespective of whether the array is sorted or not it can be used on array of any data type and it does not require any additional memory and it is also well suited algorithm for small data set and the disadvantage of linear search algorithm is that linear search has a time complexity of big o of n which in turn 
makes it slow for large data set and the linear search algorithm is not suitable for large array let's see the program for linear search algorithm first of all inside the main function declare an array a a is the name of the array and n is the total number of elements in the array and i is the variable for a loop and item is the element that we have to search from an array and c is the variable for a result and loc is the variable for location first of all input the size of an array after that with the help of for loop input the array elements then input the element you want to search then after that put the for loop and inside the for loop put the if condition for comparison and finally if the value of c is 1 that means number found at position loc otherwise number is not in the list let's see the output first of all enter the size of an array size of array is 4 now input array elements 2 3 12 and 43 after that input the element you want to search we have to search 12 from this array the number found at position 2 12 is found at position 2 The first element is at index zero. Second element is at index one, and third array element is at index two. This is all about linear search. In the next video, we'll discuss about binary search algorithm.